Good morning, everyone. Am I audible? Good morning, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. <clears throat> so, in the uh, previous class, uh, we have discussed about the MAC layer protocols. Okay. Let me share my screen first. Is my screen is visible? Yes, sir. Okay. So basically, uh, <coughs> although uh, all of you have uh, given a presentation on different categories of uh, Mac protocol. So I believe that one more discussion is required to clarify some things. Yep. So basically when we discuss about the classification of MAC protocol, so basically MAC is a sub layer of data link layer. Yep. And in, it involves in different operations during the transmission of protocol, oh sorry, the transmission of data. Or we can say that during the networking okay so in case of wireless ad hoc network if we especially discuss on mac protocol we'll found that uh, mac protocol is basically uh, classified into four major categories one is called contention based a simple one then the next one is called contention based but it is with reservation mechanism the third one is contention based but with scheduling mechanism and the last one is the others these are the four categories and each and every categories have their own advantages own functionalities and own disadvantages not disadvantages some kind of limitations we can say it is and the first type that is called contention based we can uh, we can further classify into two types which is called sender in receiver in that means that group called the basic contention base is a huge huge group it means there are so much possibilities to do further classification that's why we have different two different categories under contention base one is called sender initiated the next one is called receiver initiated Okay, then again, uh, the sender initiated the portion or the category, the sender initiated can be further classified into two categories. One is called single channel and multiple channel. So first of all, I would like to uh, mention the classifications. Then we'll go for one by one explanation. Similarly, in case of reservation category, we have two different categories called synchronous type and asynchronous type. In scheduling, there is no subcategories and others, there is no subcategories. So basically the first two types has different category, subcategories based on their functionalities. Now, what is contention based? So basically, first of all, we uh, we must know the meaning of the word called contention. Yeah, 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 yeah. Here it is mentioned as a connection base, but it is not as a connection base because I have downloaded the image. Uh, it is not connection base. It is contention base actually. Okay. If you draw this diagram, I will share this note with you but you if uh, you have to correct it as a contention base it is not the correction base i have not noticed earlier okay so basically what is 
the term called contention contention is nothing but a argument or a competition and the result of it someone will win and that the entity who is going to win this battle is in the charge it is a simple term so literally it is mentioned it is a contention for the resource winning no transmit that means here since there is no specific route we are using a common radio channel which may be single channel which may be multiple channel which may be used by reservation category that means in every type of protocol the term contention basis use that means in everywhere there are some competition because sender is one receiver is multiple that means out of this multiple receiver who is going to receive first suppose some kind of uh, uh, competition is there and who is going to win this battle is the first receiver so that means in simple contention based protocol without reservation or scheduling mechanism this contention based protocol simply do a calculation among its neighbors and which neighbor respond fast or which neighbor is more efficient the sender is going to send the data to the particular receiver so in contention based the simple contention based protocol we can say that bandwidth is not reserved that means this is the uh, simple one here no reservation no advance no booking thing is done the sender initiate the or maybe the receiver initiate the transmission and whatever available bandwidth or whatever situation is based on the situation call is going to act so basically in contention based protocol we can say that bandwidth is not reserved and we cannot guarantee the transmission because since there is no reservation or we can we, we cannot say that this particular radio channel i am using with this uh, kind of bandwidth suddenly the bandwidth is high suddenly the bandwidth is low so that means in due, due to this situation we cannot guarantee the transmission that is whatever packet sent by the sender is exactly receive the receiver or reach the receiver side it is not guaranteed and it is not like that we cannot uh, or it is not useful it is also not like that but the prime uh, characteristics of the simple contention base is that bandwidth is not reserved and we cannot guarantee the transmission the next one is uh, the next one is uh, first of all uh, explain the major classifications then we go for the subgroups then contention based protocol with reservation mechanism it is the same uh, it is suppose the upgrade version of contention based that means whatever properties the contention based have most of the properties are inherited but along with the existing properties new properties are added that is called bandwidth is reserved for transmission that means if a protocol uh, from the reservation category are using uh, or involved in a transmission a particular size of bandwidth is fixed or reserved that during this transmission we are uh, we are going to use this size of bandwidth during this transition the, during the next transmission i am going to use this uh, this uh, this uh, size of bandwidth based on the capacity of the radio channel and guarantees can be given 
because earlier we cannot say that the size of the bandwidth is this one that means if the size is low and we are trying to send uh huge size data that means the the transmission is not going to happen but if the bandwidth is reserved that means we already know that we can only send this much this much of data that means it will be easier for the sender to calculate that for each transmission how much data he, uh, the sender needs to send that means in this case we can say that uh, the transmission or we can give a guarantee that whatever data uh, we are sending there's a high possibility of received by the receiver <coughs> The next one is contention based protocol with scheduling mechanism. That means distributed scheduling is done between nodes. That means in reservation, what is happen? Uh, suppose in, uh, I think all of you have gone through the OS. So there, uh, in OS, there is a particular uh, unit called scheduling, where there are different kind of scheduling mechanisms are available like suppose fast sound uh, fast come fast serve shortage of fast round robin priority scheduling so in every scheduling we uh, it, it it was found that the characteristics of the scheduling is different suppose in fcfs what happened who comes first will get the cpu and can be able to execute suppose the size of this execution is very long then the others have to wait for a long period of time. But in case of round robin, it is found that if particular time slot is given to each and every uh, suppose process, whether the process needs time of one hour, whether the pro process needs time of five minutes. Suppose for every process, 10 minute time is assigned. That means for every execution the process can uh, the process can execute its programs up to 10 minutes after that the is assigned to the next process so similarly in case of reservation mechanism a particular uh, transmission if the transmission is very long that means the others have to wait for a long period of time. So sometimes it will occur inconsistency. Some prior transmission cannot be done. Priority based transmission. That's why another category of protocol is developed, which have a specific scheduling mechanism. That means like the round robin here also a specific time slot is assigned to assigned to each and every transmission that for this period of time process a can transmit after this the radio channel is automatically assigned to process b if the process b is completed its transmission earlier after, then the assigned time the radio channel is assigned to process c or the process B cannot complete its transmission within the assigned time, then it has to wait for its next turn. So there, in this way also, we can guarantee the transmission. The other category, since uh, there are, we, we found that we are in wireless ad hoc network, it is obvious that uh, we are not designing a wireless ad hoc network for a traditional uh, type of environment. We are designing this kind of network, ad hoc network uh, for a special or real time situation. And we cannot guarantee that whatever situation is arise, it can above mentioned category protocol. That means the, the protocol which comes under the category one, two, and three the entire list of protocols can handle the situation. We cannot guarantee. So that means we need, sometimes we need 
uh, a different kind of protocol which comprises of multiple fissures it may be it may be uh, suitable in terms of reservation also it may be suitable in terms of scheduling also for as and when required it can perform different different execution so the pro the protocol which is actually behave like this uh, is comes under the port category and we can also say that it can also use as a completely new approach a new category so the spite of uh, creating more categories one category is defined as the others where uh, the protocol which have multiple features are uh, combined together and available for use these are some basic idea about the four categories of protocol under MAC. Is it clear to everyone? At this sir, point, is sir. it clear? Yes. Sir, uh, in contention based protocol with reservation mechanism, uh, every node has yes. uh, um, fixed their bandwidth, right? Sir, uh, no, no, if... not exactly for every node. Actually, see, uh, for a transmission, bandwidth is reserved reserve for a transmission. For a transmission, and in this transmission, maybe multiple nodes are associated. Do you get my point? It is not like that for node A and B. For between the transmission, node A and B, the bandwidth is reserved if within the transmission only these two nodes are associated then bandwidth is reserved for a and b if for a transmission multiple nodes are associated for the each and every node the bandwidth is reserved that's why we uh, we are not mentioning it as a bandwidth is reserved for the nodes we are mention mentioning as a bandwidth is reserved for a transmission if a transmission two nodes are associated, reserve for only two nodes. If multiple nodes are associated, reserve for multiple nodes. Yes, is it clear? Yes, sir. Okay. Anyone else? Any query up to this point? Any query from anyone? If no, I will proceed to the next point. Okay. Jahid, no. That means up to this point, everything is clear. Okay. Now, again, as I mentioned earlier, that some groups, some categories have more classification. That means under the group, parent group, there are some subgroups. Like suppose in simple contention based, uh, there are two classifications like sender initiated and receiver initiated. And again, in sender initiated, single channel and multiple channel. Okay. Now, Let's consider the first one, contention-based protocol uh, without reservation and scheduling. So in this type of protocol, as I mentioned, the basic idea is contention for resource, for the resource and the winning node transmit. That means there are some competition. We can say that there are some competition among the nodes for resource and the node which wins the race is going to transmit. Similarly, because we have a radio channel, everyone is trying to transmit data. That means the radio channel at a time, suppose the radio channel can carry a data from a single node. And here, a list of nodes are trying to uh, send the data. But that's why there are some competitions. Okay. 
तो इन कंटेंशन बेस का फर्स्ट टू के रिजर्व से सेंडर इनिशिएटेड means the transmission of packets are initiated by the sender the simple thing suppose uh, node a and b wants to communicate node a data so that means node a is going to send the data or initiate the transmission and this type of transmission is generally known as a sender initiate because the sender initiate the transmission and in other way if i know that these informations are available in node a and node b wants this information in this type of information or in this category what happened no b initiate the transmission that you have this information and i transmit the information to me that means in this case node a who is going to send the data is not initiating the transmission that node who is going to receive the data is actually initiate the transmission so in this type of transmission is simply known as a receiver initiated transmission it is a simple thing not a very complex one the sender the node who is is going to act as a sender is initiate the transmission that's why it is known as a sender initiated and a node and a node who is is going to act as a receiver initiate the transmission it known as a receiver initiated transmission or receiver initiated protocol that means actually the protocol some kind of protocols are going to act behind the situation for if a sender initiate the transmission that means some, some protocols are acting behind it some protocols are working to make the sender active and is the protocols that's why if a sender initiate this a set of protocols are working on it and the example of sender initiated protocol we can say it is a macaw fama btma dbtma or icsma these are the sender initiated protocol but when we closely observe the category uh, characteristics of this protocol we will found that we we'll found that these protocols are works in different way in different situation and based on this uh, key features the sender initiated protocols are plus further classified into two categories one is called single channel the next one is called multiple channel
<coughs> now <coughs> in case of single channel how it happens that is a single channel is used for the entire transmission that means from sending the rts to cts to data to acknowledgement means one channel one specific channel is used for sending the entire information from starting to end but in case of multiple channel multi multiple channel it is observed that multiple channel is used for sending and receiving the data it will be more clear when we discuss the specific protocols of each category when you discuss a protocol from single channel and when you discuss a protocol from multiple channel it will be more clear but till now it is the main thing we have to remember that in single channel one channel is used for the entire transmission in multi channel multiple channel is used for transmitting the information with the within the source and the destination then the receiver initiative i have already mentioned that uh, the examples are like suppose rib ema macabi march now the next category is contention based protocol with reservation mechanism so in this category i have already mentioned that the bandwidth is reserved and we can guarantee that that's why we can guarantee the transmission but apart from this this category is also divided into two major categories two sub categories one is called synchronized protocol the next one is called asynchronous protocol all of we know the what is synchronization that means within a specific time the execution is changing that means if there are multiple nodes and after a in a particular sequence the nodes are relatively same the nature is relatively same the or the uh, nodes who are currently participating are changing uh, someone else is participating it means all nodes are kept synchronized way that means it is not like that during the transmission only one is active like suppose in group discussion if in in group discussion there are suppose five to ten people and it is obvious that everyone is participating in the group discussion that means eventually from one after another everyone is trying to express their thoughts during the group discussion so similarly in this category of protocol they are working in such a way that every node is actually participating in this transmission that means it will be automatically it will be automatically done okay in asynchronous protocol relative time information is used to achieve efficient reservation so that means suppose if i ask a question to all of you if you are willingly come forward and give an give the answer or try to give the answer we can say it as a synchronous protocol one after another everyone is uh, trying to give the answer of my question automatically all of you come but if you are not willingly come forward then what i have to do i have to wait for some time and i have to mention the names then now you give the answer after that you so this is called asynchronous the relative time information is is used that means in a network it is observed that only a particular node is actually 
in an active mode as compared to the others then these protocols ask the uh, this kind of protocols ask the snow to wait and give the suns or uh, suns the others know to are actually try to communicate with the destination so this is called asynchronous protocol that means in everywhere a fixed bandwidth uh, uh, a fixed set of bandwidth is there but within this transmission we have to observe that whether each and every node are participating in the transmission or not for this there are two different approach in one approach automatically one by one every node will get the sense to communicate or in other way based on the time manually it is assigned to a node the third category in the third category there is no sub groups that is called scheduling mechanism and we have already discussed in scheduling mechanism delay targets of packets traffic load at nodes that means these are some points which is considered under the scheduling mechanism and in this category all the nodes are treated equally and no node is deprived of bandwidth that means since it is it is scheduled like round robin algorithm every process will get the cpu similarly if we follow a scheduling mechanism it is obvious that every node will be able to get the radio channel to transmit its data it is a simple one and example of this categories are dps dwop dlps there is no sub groups of scheduling mechanism and the others category we have already mentioned that this mac protocol do not strictly fall into any above category it is a combination it is a combination of multiple features of other protocols i have already mentioned this information is the earlier point and it can also use as a completely new approach and the examples are mmac mcsma pcm and rpar this is all about the classifications of mac layer protocol okay this is all about the classifications is it clear to everyone dibwa is it clear arindam aman everyone i am asking everyone okay okay then in the next class we will pick up some examples or pick up some protocols and discuss how it actually works okay Okay, then I will end up this class for today, and tomorrow we will continue with the next topic.
it is the example of different protocols of map layer okay thank you everyone